now we are moving on to the topic of light amplification so we have considered a medium that is in thermal equilibrium and you have seen that in that uh, in such a case there would be more atoms in the lower level than in the higher level that is a normal distribution where n1 is greater than n2 now the probability of uh, absorption transition is equal to the probability of stimulated transition that we have seen from the einstein relations so a photon traveling through a medium has a more probability or more chance to get absorbed than to stimulate an excited atom to emit a photon so always the process of absorption dominates the process of stimulated emission also you can see that when an atom is in the excited state it is more likely to jump to the lower level on its own than being stimulated by a photon that is spontaneous emissions may be more frequent than stimulated emission so uh, light amplification requests that stimulated emission occur almost frequently than the other two process so uh, the laser operation is achieved when stimulated emission exceeds uh, than the other two process and we have to find out what is the, under what condition this will happen on to the condition for stimulated emission to dominate over spontaneous emission so let's take r1 as a ratio between stimulated transitions to spontaneous transitions so we have already seen the rate equation so stimulated transition can be written as b21 rho nu n2 divided by spontaneous transitions can be represented by b sorry a21 n2 now dividing these two n2 and n2 get cancelled we have b21 by a21 into rho of nu equation 1 that will give the ratio between the uh, stimulated transition to spontaneous transitions now rho can be substituted from planck radiation law that we have already seen rho of nu is given by 8 by h nu cube by c cube into 1 by e raised to h nu by kt minus 1 and from einstein relations we have b21 by a21 is c cube by 8 by h nu cube so substituting these two equations that is second and third back into first equation uh, some of the terms get cancelled and we are left with r1 is equal to 1 by e raised to h nu by kt minus 1 so we got the rate equation and suppose uh, we give some sample values that is we are considering the optical frequency approximately 5 into 10 raised to 14 hertz optical frequency range from uh, say 4 to 7 uh, into 10 raised to my, uh, plus 14 hertz and temperature let it be 300 kelvin and we get the value of r1 to be 10 power minus 58 so you can see that this rate is very very negligible 10 raised to minus 58 in the optical region so some of the conclusion that we can make from here is that this equation the r1 equation indicates stimulated transitions will dominate the spontaneous transitions if radiation density is very large and so the uh, in that case we need more number of photons in the active medium for the radiation density to be more but in that case it will lead to more absorption transition so only a large number of photon density will not guarantee stimulated emissions but that is one of the condition the second one is uh, stimulated transitions will dominate if you find if you see that the ratio b21 by a21 is also large now to increase the probability of stimulated emission lifetime of the atom in the excited state should be larger because you know 1 by a21 is the lifetime uh, so excited state should have a longer lifetime in that case also stimulated emissions may uh, dominate the spontaneous transitions so that's about the condition for stimulated emission to dominate spontaneous emission and we have seen the rate of uh, stimulated transition to spontaneous transitions now moving on to the condition for stimulated
expected emission to dominate over absorption transition. Let's write the rate R2 as stimulated transition to absorption transition. So, stimulation, uh, stimulated transition is given by the rate equation B21 rho of nu N2 divided by absorption transition is given by B12 rho of nu N1. Now, cancel out uh, rho of nu rho of nu from both numerator and denominator. Uh, we get uh, B21 N2 by B12 N1. But from Einstein relation, we know that B21 is equal to B12. That is, the probability for absorption transition is same as stimulated transition. So, R2 can be written as N2 by N1. So we have the uh, uh, no. Uh, so we have the condition that stimulated transition will dominate the absorption process only if N two is greater than N one. To sum up, uh, let's see the three conditions that is necessary for stimulated transitions to dominate over other two transitions. One is that the population at the excited level should be greater. That is N two must be greater than n1 remember this will be the inverse condition of the normal distribution second point is the ratio b21 by a21 should be large and third one uh, is that the uh, there should be a very high radiation density in the medium so a medium will amplify light only when these three conditions are fulfilled so uh, so that is about the condition for light amplifications. Thank you.